Hey everyone, Hello. so glad that you're back with us and for everyone who's here uh, with us for the first time, welcome to the Lionsgate channel. Yeah, uh, we're Gaspar and Sonia and today we're going to teach you a creative exercise. Um, yeah, so um, if you're struggling with inspiration or just searching for something more creative, then this is the right place to be, or this is the right exercise to do. Because um, we've been, we come with, we face this challenge a lot, let's say it like that. Um, when you, you know, sit down and want to draw something, and then you don't know what to do. And you need to look for, looking for ideas, you need inspiration. So we started actually searching for exercises that would help us overcome this, you know, so-called artist block. And um, we came up with several ones, and we you know, found several ones that really work. So we wanted to share them with you. Yeah, so if you want to get more inspired, and at the end of the exercise have more creative juice to just uh, yeah, deal with other creative tasks, then you should stick with us, invite your friends, and let's get started. All right. But first, of course, how are you guys? What are you doing? How's the weather at your place? And where are you tuning in from? Let us know in the comments. Hi, Isidor. Hi, Flash. Hi, Anne. And hi, Leon. Nice that you join us. I'm really glad to have you here. I hope you'll have uh, fun today. And um, yeah. We're really interested because we noticed that our viewers are from all over the world. Um, is your sound working now? I don't know. All right, we'll hope um, we'll figure out the problem with the sound. I think it's fixable. Okay, so you can hear us now. All right, thanks for letting us know. This is the first thing with live stream. Is like scream if something's not working because obviously we're not gonna notice it and that's a shame if you're like we talk for one hour and you just follow and uh, try to uh, re read from our lips or something um, yes. so thanks for letting us know yeah okay is it working the sound is working and hi to everyone once again um, I see so many faces thanks for joining joining us Wow, uh, the comments yeah. are exploding. Thanks, awesome. guys. So for everyone um, <laughs> doing this for the first time, so this is a live stream um, and you can always ask us questions or ask each other questions or comment or whatever. Um, on the right hand side down below, you have a comment section. That's where you type in your questions or comments and then um, we will see them. Sonia will curate them and um, we will do our best to answer it. And if you want to support us, there's also like a dollar button underneath and it's called Super Chat. So if you click that and um, you decide on an amount that you would like to donate to us, to our channel, to support us, then your comment will be highlighted. And everything we get will go towards um, making better content for every one of you. And we'll be grateful. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if you heard before what we're doing now and what's the, the cause for doing this kind of exercise. As we said before, that you probably didn't hear is we're going to do creative exercise. If you're searching for inspiration or just to get a bit more creative, this is the right place to be and this is the right exercise that you need to start doing. Um, yeah. We had many struggles before in our careers and we were asking ourselves those kind of questions a lot. That's why we researched that a bit and came up with a few exercises on our own and we also borrowed a few. Uh, and yeah, we will share with, the, with you another one of those kind of exercises. So what's the one um, called that we're doing today? Hi Nat! Thank you very much for the super chat. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you, Nat. Yeah. You're awesome. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the support. Um, yeah. I hope there's no echo anymore and that you can follow what we're doing. Uh, what else? Let me see. 
So in between I can tell you a bit what are we going to do. So today's exercise is called Unusual Superheroes. I had to think about that for a second. Yeah, Unusual Superheroes. It's something we came up with, but it's based on a well-known um, creative exercise. Something similar that we did last week, in case you were with us last week, where we did the creative monsters. Um, and what you will be needing um, is just simple stuff that you, I'm, def I'm pretty sure you have at home. Yeah. But just in the meanwhile, hi Andrew, hi Angat, hi Tina, hi Wiki. Hey wow. everyone. So nice to, to have you here. Hi Mark, hi Lexi. Thanks for joining us. It's great to see the names repeating again. Yeah. I'm really glad that you guys are coming back to these live streams and decide to spend some of your time creatively with us. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay, so what's the next step? So the next step is I will show you what you uh, have to prepare if you haven't already done that. Okay, are you going to talk to camera A or should I put it on the other? You can put it on the other so they can see. All right. Okay. So everyone, um, first of all, um, basic stuff, get a piece of paper. If you don't have a piece of paper, then get some toilet paper. I'm sure you have enough toilet paper. I hope you have enough toilet paper right now in these times. Um, get something you can draw on basically, right? Yeah. It's good if it's um, a bit thicker. Um, I, I think this one is like 120 grams, but don't stress if it's not. Um, you know, just get a piece of paper. A sketchbook will do. We just got uh, another donation from Connie. Thank you very much for supporting us. Thanks, Connie. That this means is a lot. It means a lot. We're sending a lot of sunny energy to your place. Yeah. Wherever you're from. Yeah. Where, so, where were we? We were at a piece of paper you have to prepare. Paper. And then get a pen or pencil or s anything that will basically uh, leave marks on the paper. And as a third ingredient, I will be using a uh, coffee today. Look at this beautiful mug. We got it uh, on, a, uh, on, on what it was called a flea market in Berlin. Um, and we're really proud. It was a proud, you know, find. It's, it was like a treasure. Um, anyways, um, we have coffee. Why coffee? Because we'll be using coffee instead of paint. Now, if you have watercolors at home, I, don't, I know not everyone has them, but if you have them, you can also use watercolors. Um, you can use different colors or um, you can also use other home pigments. Uh, I think last week someone uh, did it with soy sauce, so you can also do it with soy sauce <laughs> or uh, turmeric tea or something. Yeah, or matcha tea or something. Yeah, so optional, uh, a brush, a nice fluffy brush. Um, but it doesn't have to be, you can also do it with your fingers. Um, and Thank you, Dory. <laughs> we appreciate it a lot. Oh, we got, we got another, another super, super chat. chat. Thanks a lot. <laughs> wow, yeah. guys. Thanks a lot. Thank Thanks you. for all the support. Yes. Okay, so should we get to it? Are you ready? Yeah. Do you have your stuff ready? Say yes, 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 if you're ready, and then we can start. All right. I'm really excited about today's exercise. Tina suggested carrot juice. Carrot juice, Tina, is good. For nice orange creatures. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You can use carrot juice, turmeric. What I was, I was reading about this stuff. There's a lot of household paints you can use, um, and if you don't have um, like art stationery at home, so definitely find something. Yes, I think our audience is ready. Our audience is ready? They are shouting all yes, yes, yes. So. All right, let's do this. Yeah. So let's dive into the unusual superheroes. We'll do this exercise in two steps. Basically, the first step will be we will create uh, eight different characters. And in the second step, we will give them something extra, something special, right? We will give them superpowers. And this is a basic thing, even if you're not familiar with figure drawing or faces drawing or anything, we'll make this really easy. You know, we are not so good at figure drawing as well, but this exercise is a great start, great way to start doing this. All right, so I'll get some, some of my coffee on my brush. And now let's all do this the same. I mean, not exactly the same, but uh, the general idea is to do eight 
um, let's say forms where we always do a small smudge a small smudge mm -hmm. and next to it underneath it or above it a big smudge I hope you cook a strong cup of coffee because I did not I, I uh, my grandmother would say that I I cooked a weak coffee <laughs> and uh, that would be direct translation and then my grand um, grandfather would always argue and he would be angry and mad uh, because she she was offering like the weak coffee so strong coffee people strong coffee turkish yeah. coffee is it apparent. needs to be black it needs to be black there's different ways to brew a coffee and i think i learned from a friend once that turkish coffee is the best one to to use for this uh, kind of paintings so yeah do a, a big sm so the big form can be indifferent. It can be, you know, it can be very narrow. It can be um, very wide. You can do definitely. You can do like the the top form bigger, and then the bottom form uh, smaller. That's that's also a way to do it. The important thing is we have two forms. All right. So let's do one like this. Wow, well, this one uh, got his head a bit bigger. The third one. In your case? Yeah, so it can be right now, this is totally up to you. HRZ is also using Turkish coffee. All right, yeah. yeah. What are you using, guys? Tell us more. Are you using watercolors or something different for this exercise? All right, so let's do a nice form here. Let's do a smaller form here on the side. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what else? What else do we have here? I got two more. I got two more. Let's do another one, which is like a taller one here, and one like this. And what else do we have? Oh, Nicoleta is trying uh, with curry and coffee blended. Um, Connie is using balsamic vinegar. All oh, right, you guys are creative. You don't need creative exercises. <laughs> awesome. Okay, Cactus Workshop is using Worcester sauce. All right, that's yeah. good. Okay, Wiki is using red wine. All right. Might I switch to tea. <laughs> because you rather drink the wine, I understand that. I understand that struggle. <laughs> yeah, and Andrew is using watercolors. All right. Yeah. So we've got, we're gonna have a quite a array of different uh, different styles. I think this is good. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, do your forms. And like I said, there's no right or wrong. The main idea is just to have like two, you know, two forms, like a small one and a big one. Uh, one that's going up to the side, one that's, you know, straight, one that's curvy, whatever. Basically, um, at this point, we don't need to see any characters in them yet. We don't need to see anything in them yet. They're basically um, something that will help us in the next step to become more creative. Can you explain once again, just small instruction, very short, for those who just joined, what did you do till now? Yes. So everyone, you're not too late. We can definitely repeat the instructions. So first of all, take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. You didn't miss anything, right? Step two, <laughs> um, get paper, a pen and some paint uh, or some household paint like coffee, uh, red wine, or uh, turmeric tea, soy sauce, um, vinegar, balsamic vinegar. Winchester sauce. Exactly. Winchester. Yeah, if we're butchering those names, yeah. <laughs> please forgive us. <laughs> so, and then we do an exercise where we um, start off with eight time, eight forms, like eight of these characters, where we always have. Uh, small form and a big form so they can be there is like a big one on top uh, and a small one on bottom or vice versa they can be triangular they can be round you know knock yourself out and we'll be slowly progressing so don't worry you can still uh, catch up so and um, i've got now all my eight forms and if i would wait for these to dry it would take forever so i'm gonna cheat and I'm going to use a bit of tissue to uh, a small handkerchief, a 
paper towel to uh, get rid of this excessive water. And I also hope that you're using a bit thicker or heavier paper because you can see this is probably uh, not heavy enough. You should use something like 140 grams or even more so that the waves on the paper will not, not be there. Yeah. Um, for those who just started, for everyone else yeah. who's already taken toilet paper, well... You are, you are in the same boat. We're in the same boat. This is how it is. <laughs> the paper will wrinkle a bit, but that's completely fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely, um, if we don't want to do this until uh, tomorrow, let's, um, let's maybe help it dry. So I... Um, what, should we just blow? You can also use a hair dryer. Hair dryer or maybe, you know, let this... Uh, let this try a bit. Okay, so how are your characters looking? Let us know. Are they already dry enough uh, for us to continue? And I um, also wanted to say that these exercises, mm -hmm. at first um, I was a bit skeptical, like do they really help with creativity and do they really um, you know, help you get new ideas? Because it's not so obvious that if you do creative exercises that you'll immediately get a better idea or create something amazing. But then I uh, really delved into the topic a bit and... Thank you. I'm trying not to... <laughs> <laughs> to influence the sound. <laughs> um, anyways, as I was saying... Sorry. <laughs> I delved into the topic a bit and found out that it really helps with stimulating the uh, right brain hemisphere. And this not only helps you in your creative endeavors or anything, if you're a creative professional, but also in your everyday life. Like creative, uh, it helps you with problem solving, it helps you come up with creative ways to solve problems and similar. So it's definitely a fun thing and also benefits you in general. Um, so. I found that really interesting, yeah. Yeah, probably if you would use this exercise more often then you would see the results even faster, right? But the thing is that usually when we're trying to 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 embrace new habits, we're, we're expecting results too fast and if we would be just a bit more patient and just track the progress like after a week or two weeks, then you would probably see the difference. Um, so yeah, we encourage you, maybe do this exercise every day uh, for one week and then try to set some sort of rules, how can you test if you got a bit cr more creative or inspired for new tasks. Um, yeah, that would be really interesting, like a small experiment, like personal experiment. Um, yeah, I think we can slowly proceed, uh, right. Tina said hers uh, her drawing is wrinkled and dry uh, Worcester sauce dries super fast very good uh, says Cactu Cac cactus workshop uh, and Zoe complimented on our teacups thank you thank you Zoe as I said um, it was a lucky find on a flea market in Berlin <laughs> <laughs> all right so Everyone ready for the next step. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna breathe life into these characters. So at this point, all we're going to do is draw some arms, some legs and a face for them, right? This is all we're gonna do. So we have prepared also something small to show you um, if you haven't drawn faces yet. What we want to do today is do it really simply. So every facial feature is basically, you know, composed of a couple of elements. It's the eyes, probably the most characteristic, the mouth. Even with those two you can make a lot. And then you have the nose and you can add eyebrows for more expression. You can add some hair and even you can add some ears, all right? But you don't need to use all of these. And uh, below we show you different styles of things, uh, different styles of these faces that you can use um, to give uh, some life to these characters. And um, now let's let's draw one. You know, let's let's draw this one. And you can also make a screenshot so that you won't forget. 
uh, of the basic facial features um, because later on we're gonna remove it so yeah maybe it's the best or you can also draw it in your sketchbook re really fast so you you always have it by your side somewhere maybe on the back pages of your sketchbook or so all right so this is the first one this is the first one I did two eyes you know I did a nose I did a mouth I did two ears and I added some you know wiggles for hair and there you go it's it looks alive so now really simply I will just add some legs and um, some arms nothing else at this point <laughs> Michael says said I make tons of screenshots when I watch you all right yeah <laughs> that's super I do that so often when I'm following other people's instructions so I think that's also very he he helpful, especially if you do some notes beside it afterwards. Uh, yeah. So I just added simple arms and legs, and you don't need to even need to you know make them with a double line. They can just be stick figure. You know, let's do let's do one with stick figures. Let let's do a really simple one. So you see how easy this is. So I'll just do it really you know how you would basically draw a dra smiley face, just like that. You know. Let's uh, let's give it let's give it some uh, legs, you know, really stick figure legs and stick figure arms. Let's what should we do? I'm excited how you're gonna do the fingers with stick figures. Just like that. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Like really. Chicken leg. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what I want to show you here that it's basically uh, it can be anything. It doesn't need to be. Um, it doesn't need to be complex. So you can continue uh, with those different facial um, tips we just gave and give all of your characters um, um, yeah, some life. Yeah, give them also crazy haircuts and stuff. Give them crazy haircuts, okay. So be creative. We can, you can also, you know, obviously you can make them, you can make <laughs> the head huge. Ritika said, all I can see is a snowman. <laughs> Yeah, well, start with a snowman and then ask yourself what else could it be. So this one looks a, yeah. this one looks a bit alien almost. This one looks yeah. What kind of hair does this one have? What what what, what, what a hair? You have an idea for the hair for this one? Nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it looks good. So you see, they can be completely ridiculous. Okay, so Spricha says, these activities make me look at everyday colors, shapes, or even random lines into characters or objects. Yeah. So pretty fun, but slightly challenging too. Yes, there, this is the thing. This exercise is fun, but um, also, uh, also a bit challenging, obviously. Yeah. It's easier if you think of each character as like it has its own story or background. For example, if you see some sort of special form of hat, you can say, okay, he's tired or he just went into mountains and I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Just think about something and just create a story. This person, this character didn't sleep for a week and that's why his eyes are so big or something. Just like if you give them a bit to feed on, then you're gonna even, yeah, then then your creative flow will start even more. Yeah, think of different crazy people doing crazy things. Wow, this is very cool. Yeah, the small, the, the smaller um, blob on bottom doesn't need to be the body, it can, you can also flip it around and you can go wild on these, on these things. Yeah. Tina and Michael suggested that we should also add some beard and mustache. Beard and mustache is yeah. very good. Hi to Eleonora who just joined. Hi, hi. Hello. How are you? Yeah. Like an officer or someone. So I will, I will maybe leave some without the hair to be able to add maybe something else in step two. Uh, Macy suggested that, or she wished, 
she wished to see some younger heroes, kids and youngsters. Kids and youngsters. All right, I just did. I just did uh, really. This one is actually, you know, uh, this one is actually seven, but just <laughs> dressed up as a as a nineteenth century British gentleman. He he wanted to have a tea party at his home, which his mom organized for him yesterday at six p.m. with his whole family, and. He got a mustache and I don't know how you call this, you know, this single eye mm -hmm. oku. Mm -hmm. Is it like a mono monocle? monocle or something? Monocle or something, yeah. Or did we just invent a, an English yeah. word? <laughs> um, how are your characters progressing? progressing? Tell us uh, in the comments uh, who did you invent? How do you, your characters look like? Yeah, it looks awesome. Are you are you gonna do all that are just where you can see the portrait with uh, front features, or are oh you going right. to do the side side view I didn't, as well? I didn't even consider that. Yeah, side view side view is good. <laughs> side side view sounds good. Yeah, great. I'm definitely gonna do some side view. Thank you, Violet Liki. Uh, she or he says uh, she she or he loves to exercise. All right, glad you do. Vicky got an alien and one that looks like penguin, pingu. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nicoletta uh, likes the ups upside down one and the girl you made. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I just made the <laughs> same hair as I did already. Ah, I should I should be more careful. <laughs> Zoe has has a nerdy one and one that looks like Kim Kardashian for no reason. Ah, oh, so fun. Well, you know, it's your, it's your <laughs> subconscious, Zoe. This is uh, these oh. exercises are. Uh, oh wow. Yeah, yeah, you just said... Um, this one uh, looks like the one from Eastern Island, Islands. Eastern know? Islands. Yeah. yeah. Sure. How to make it, make it not look like one from Eastern Islands. Oh, right. yeah. By giving it a mohawk. Okay, how are you time? Okay, we still have time. All right. So what is uh Hmm. I can imagine him like with big hands but really small legs, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or something like really <laughs> muscular yeah. legs like a gorilla or something like uh, because he he needs to support his head somehow, right? True. True. Okay, are you done? Gashper finished, but uh, usually Gashper is pretty fast. So let us know if we should make a small stop or should we just continue straight away. Yeah. But at Liki, uh, I have a shocked stone hat. Yeah. Zoe is now drawing a cape. Wow. Party, party people. All right. Awesome. <laughs> I'm quite happy with this mishmash of stuff. We have a robot and a maid. They can, uh, they can, uh, glad they can be also not so defined in this stage yeah. because there, there is a second stage coming. Yeah. Where you will give them much more of a backstory. Yeah. So the first step was just to draw. Uh, smudge for a head and for the body. The second one was to add hands and some sort of face. We showed you the face features before and different styles that you can use for it. And now in the next step we're gonna add some more. We're gonna add them a bit of more of the character. So don't overdo it. 
you see Gaspar did it very easy and simple. Uh, he just talk, stuck to the to the hands, the face features, and yeah, maybe hair. That's important in the first step. Mm. And um, in meanwhile, if you also have some other questions regarding uh, you know creativity or anything else, we can help you with. Uh, do tell. Um, we'll do our best to answer. Um, because uh, I think it's always always great to also have one-on-one -on -one interaction. If you have a question right now, um, yeah, we'll... Um, ask away. Yeah, ask away. That's yeah. what the comment section or the question section is there. So Connie has two more to go. Yeah, all right, Connie. Uh, and she draws something that resembles a lady beetle. Who That's good. That? Who's the lady beetle? Lady bit like it's like, like a ladybug or it's like a... Ah, okay, so I... Oh, this I, lady beetles. You know, I just saw... Is a that a person? Am I just not educated? <laughs> Could be. Okay, no. Oh, lady beetle is a ladybug. Yeah, it's a ladybug. Oh, right. I, I was like in between, is it a person and it's some sort of old lady with nice silky hair <laughs> <laughs> in a scarf <laughs> or um, or is it like a bug? Yeah. Yeah, I love ladybugs. They're amazing, lady beetles. Um, I just actually found one in our place uh, two days ago. Um, yeah, I let it out into the cold freedom. Why? It's too soon. To let it out? Yeah. When they start to get active, then th that's the right time to let them out. Yeah, it was active. It was like crawling around. She was stretching its legs. And yeah, well, legs. it said ah. I'm active all over its back. <laughs> <laughs> If you connected the dots, you know, the words I'm active came yeah. out. Sure. Sure. <laughs> okay, so um, now we'll be actually going to step two. If you're not done, don't worry. We, um, we will go slowly so you can catch up or you can finish your, uh, your characters later. Yeah, okay, so uh, let's go back shortly to the comments. Uh, cactus workshop, uh, I draw an animal. Is that allowed? Yes, sure. Totally. Yeah. yeah, it is allowed. Maybe that's like a transformer, you know, it's like Wolverine, who's a person, but actually also a, a wolf. You mean like werewolf? A ring. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I meant. That's <laughs> what I meant. But still, okay, let's go back. Uh, Connie, Connie also said, yes, Marienkiefer. All right, yeah, Marienkiefer. Uh, it's German. For ladybug. Zoe, I'm in the mood for doing a 100 day challenge, but I don't have a specific thing I want to work on. I just want to paint every day for fun. Should I put some goals to, to get something out of it? Yes. Definitely, Zoe. I think this is a very good question and it applies to many challenges or goals you set for yourself. Um, for example, if you say, I just want to, you know, paint more the uh, probability that you will actually start painting more is much higher if you set a certain goal. If you set something like 100 day challenge, you know, it's like a, it, it may sound cheesy, you know, these challenges, there are like so many challenges out there right now mm -hmm. or all the time, but it actually helps because it gives you, like gives your brain the motivation, you know, like, ah, it's a challenge, I can do it. And um, yeah, set a goal, set a topic, whatever you want and stick with it for 100 days even when it gets a bit boring even when you're like you know tired of doing something similar for the 10th time this is when creativity really starts to come out because you start developing variations um, i think i think that's a good idea uh, <laughs> yeah um i would also join gashper with uh, with this yeah um and maybe also you mentioned that everyone's doing challenges and there are so many challenges out there um, Life is challenging. Yeah, I mean, don't don't overdo it. In a sense, like, don't put too much weight to it. Just start doing it and don't think about it too much. Um, because if you think about it, how many things you start to do, it's also you can also not say it's a challenge. You can say I'm just gonna do it every day, mm -hmm. and because the challenge, the word, has some sort of weight to it, right? It sounds very important. So. If it's for you, for fun and for creativity, maybe you just says you just promised yourself that you're gonna do it and stick to it. Mm -hmm. And imagine 
how you're gonna be in hundred days, um, what you're gonna gain, like what will be the advantages if you didn't start and or that you that you did start. So yeah, do a plus and minus evaluation or something. That's that a great helps. motivation for your brain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, are you also drinking coffee? Greetings from Antef and Monica in Mex Mexico City. We're both drinking Gre and greetings uh, to Mexico with coffee. <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay, let's continue to stage two. Um, I would suggest we switch places for this stage, right? Yeah, yeah, I've yeah? it. Okay, so commencing stage two of, yes. of the experiment. So, um, now we're gonna do the superhero part we talked about at the beginning. For everyone who hasn't heard, we call this exercise Unusual Superheroes. <laughs> so what you're going to do is, you're gonna turn your characters into superheroes. But not like ordinary ones, but unusual ones. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? So, right now, um, we'll invent some superpowers and I invite you to join us with this invention of unusual superpowers like, for example, unstucking drawers or, um, I don't know, eating dust or... Um, the Wi-Fi connector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, enhancing the Wi-Fi connection. You know, hit us with some interesting ideas yeah. and uh, we will attribute them to uh, the characters and uh, you can also invent your own for your characters. Oh, imagine like instant dishwasher. Oh, how awesome would that be? Oh yeah, yeah, the, the dishwasher, per, yeah, like the super dishwasher. Yeah, the super dishwasher or someone. Mm -hmm. Or oh, we, there are so many. You know, the, the plants that are dying? Well, oh, yeah. not the plants that are dying, but you know your house plants that, that you forgot to water? And you have like a superhero coming in, watering them for you? Yes. Plant saver. Because what we do is that we both plant our waters, water our... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, we both water our plants at the same, uh, at, in the, the same day. Yeah, I do it in the morning, Sonia does it in the evening. Yeah. And the plants are not so uh, happy about yeah. that. And then we argue in a sense, well, who should do it? We don't know exactly. And then we just don't water them at all. And then we, <laughs> yeah, conflict. Okay, so uh, my Kim skill is super makeup. Very good. Yeah. So yeah, let your Kim uh, be the super makeup person. Okay, why is people, we need some, we need some suggestions. We will start here with the first one, Sonia. And meanwhile, come up with some suggestions. Do share with us. You yeah. don't have to do the same with us, uh, the same ones we do. Yeah, but please, maybe maybe we can all do the same names, you know? Maybe we can do the same characters. That would be also very fun just to, to see later on in face, Facebook group how, how do they look like. All right. If they resemble at all. Um, yeah. Okay, so which one should we do first, Kasper? Um, I always like the plant saver. I like the plant saver. Yeah? Yeah, because something it would help me or the drawer unstucking superpower. This is also one I like. Um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one do you like? I like the plant saver. Let's do. Okay, so pick one. Mm -hmm. The one that most looks most promising to be able to save your plants. And yeah, give it a go. I think I would trust this one. This one looks yeah. trustworthy with plants? Yes, definitely. It's green thumbs. Yeah, I would give him like a leaf cape. You know? All right. Like a cape made of plants, plant leaves. <laughs> Meanwhile, we got some good, we got some good suggestions. Tell me. Um, so Zoe says, "Super window cleaner." I like that one. Um, and uh, virus remover, a oh, virus remover, like virus remover. It's similar to uh, like um, super sanitizer and the super toilet paper bringer. <laughs> Um, the superhero that gives you the remote when you're in bed. This is also a good one, like the remote bringer. Instant cake baker. I love uh. instant cake baker. Thanks, Kim. This is a good one. <laughs> Super pizza pooper. This is awesome. Just poops you a pizza. 
Like, you know, pizza delivery poops your pizza. Very nice. Um, all right, camera switch. I'm sorry about that. Right. So, can you move it up a bit? Yes. Sorry guys, Sonia is the technical master here. Um, I'm just along for the ride. Anyway, thanks for letting us know. <laughs> okay, so I did my first one. What, uh, which, uh, which character should I do now? So, um, give me a topic. All right, let, 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 me, let me pick one for you. Um, I like the... Some flowers in the... I like the instant cake baker. Let's do the instant cake baker next from Kim. Um, meanwhile, there was a question, a very essential question. Uh, if we put sugar in our coffee, um, no, we do not put sugar in our coffee. Actually, um, we like to drink it, uh, drink it black, and we do it with a small, um, you know, what is it called? This Italian espresso thingy that you put on the stove. Bialetti. The Bialetti is usually the company, at least around these corners. Um, yeah, this is this is our favorite way to make coffee. Okay, so instant cake cake baker. You, um, you said, right? Instant cake baker. And uh, Macy just said, Captain Desinfectant. <laughs> I like this as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go for not obvious one. And the neighbor of this one, this one will be my instant cake, cake baker. Okay, how, do a, how does a instant cake baker look like? Hmm. So right beneath your um, superheroes, what they are, um, so we we can identify them later on. Um, and um, someone just suggested, uh, Anga just suggested like a super a smelly fart. <laughs> Captain super smelly fart, super s smelly fart person. And um, you know, Zoe already drew that one. <laughs> Okay. So, Ritika has an interesting question. Do you guys listen to music while working and which bands are your favorite? Oh my god, I love this question um, because I'm just like, I'd love to share um, the bands and music I like. Although, it might not be like your general likable music. But um, let's start with Sonia. Sonia, what kind of music do you like to hear when you draw or create? I would like to say Bahubali right now. I did. But um, no, what's the name of that band that, that we not, just discovered? It's not Kabakubari. Baha. Bukahara. Bukahara. Yes. Bukahara. I like Bukahara. Awesome band. Let me write this down. So, this is what Sonia is listening to recently. And um, I must say, I'm really all over the Glitch Mob right now. Uh, so, the Glitch Mob is, let me just write you there. It has to be. Um, has to be your thing, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, it's uh, alternative electronic and um, yeah, um, it's very creative also. I think they play a lot of uh, different sounds and everything, so that's what I enjoy. But in general, um, I noticed that when working or doing creatively, it's good to have something which is more of a like background noise and is not so much in your face. Um, that's why um, I like even to you know turn it down a bit, make it a bit more quiet, um, and um, not have me distracted. Because you know sometimes I find myself uh, you know bouncing around on music, which is great. Sometimes it gets me to the mood I need, but sometimes it you know pulls me away from the thing I want to be concentrating on. Can you help me spell flower? Um, fl f oh, Can flower, you? like. Flour is in uh, like uh, yeah. the stuff you bake with. Yeah. I think it's F L O U R. All right. Yeah. 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 That's it. I, I hope it's right. Um, Michael says techno. Um, yeah. Te I mean, we do. We like to go. You know, uh, dancing to techno, but uh, we don't really listen. You know, techno. Um, someone just you. You can share. Oh, I think this is good. Please share the music you like to create too, and you like to draw and paint and you know do your creative endeavors too. I think this is a great way to find some um, amazing new artists and uh, music out there. Can so. I can I get another name for the, our character? All right. 
guys. Let's go back to the comment section. So, uh, you gave us a lot of interesting stuff. And, let me see. The super sanitizer. I like the super sanitizer. Mm -hmm. It fits the times. Super sanitizer and um, it's... Uh, it, so it sounds amazing, you know, it sounds... All right, so um, Ratika is uh, saying she likes Rammstein and Tina NPR music concert for music. Um, all right. Um, if we have a podcast or playlist um, or simply um, something motivational, I think that's a good idea, uh, Spricha. We don't have that yet, but maybe we could just do like a Spotify playlist or a YouTube playlist of stuff. It's a good idea. Um, and Michael likes to play Mozart, uh, other times classic rock like Stones or Aerosmith, but sometimes country. Nice. Um, I think classic music is amazing for uh, for um, doing creative stuff. I I also really enjoy enjoy having it in background. Um, even more than that, I would say uh, I like some contemporary jazz. Um, like a personal thing, Sonia is, but Sonia enjoys classic music a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Sorry, I'm just a bit distracted because I'm into characters right now, so I'm just thinking about how, what does this person look like, what does she wear? All right, so she... this is the super sanitizer. Yeah. What did, what did you draw? So <laughs> these are the just the paper towels for disinfections or mm -hmm. the, these paper tissues that you can use. And then you have the, the sprays, right? Uh, and uh, yeah, I said that she's just like a rocker, you know? She's like a super sanitizer rocker, like ah! Amazing, I love her. This uh, instant, instant cake baker, he's just like really, you know, polite and he's wearing a, yeah, some things that you can find in kitchen on the head, and then he's uh, he's also carrying a cake that he instantly made. Yes, he, that he instantly made. made. Bam! Enter the instant cake maker. Yeah. All and right. The hand sanitizer. Maybe she also gets like. She needs like some sort of thing to wear, right? So we also got different styles of music represented around here. Pop music, um, covered with violin, a lot of cool stuff. Wow. Um, all right, so, meanwhile... I need another character, please. Yeah, meanwhile, give us some more ideas. What have you drawn in, uh, in the meantime? Have you drawn something else? Uh, Sonia, I can give you another two, um, <laughs> two options and you can decide. Yeah. So, um, I really like the um, super pizza pooper mm -hmm. and um, the other one I can give you is which one should we take? The super window cleaner. Super window cleaner. Yeah, window cleaner or pizza pooper. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, you, you give them amazing capes. This is awesome. This is the pizza pooper. All right, let's pull it up a bit higher. So the interesting part, I always think, is when you give yourself a character or a superpower, then to see which of your characters is the one that fits this description best. And uh, I think this is also a creative decision by itself already. Um, so. Which I'm really excited to see which one Sonia went with. Oh my god, he's like a pizza person. Yes! Alright. <laughs> okay. And he's also just pooping out the pizza. He's a pizza pooping pizzas? Yes. Alright, that's some next level stuff. Because he's duplicating all the time. So is he pooping like more super pizza poopers and they just exponentially grow? Yeah, but can you eat them? Oh yeah, that would be immoral. It better just let him poop normal pizza so he can eat it. Um, because no one would like them, right? If there would be all the time more and more pizza, pizza poopers. Yeah. So meanwhile, um, let us uh, give you an option to share your work. Um, if you guys have Facebook, 
you can go to our Lionscapers Facebook group. I will share it right now. There it is. And a lot of you already joined and we're really, really glad that you're sharing the works uh, you've been doing with us on live streams or watching our tutorials or just wanting feedback on. So do that. Go on that group. It's called Lionscapers. Um, we'll just approve you and you can share your work there and comment on each other's stuff. I would love to see what you have done. And another option, very good one, to share what you did and we'd be really thrilled to see it is on Instagram, if you have Instagram. Uh, you can, you know, post stories and tag us. I think this is an amazing way uh, so we can immediately uh, see what you did. And yeah, do that. I'd love to see what you came up with. And in the Facebook group, obviously, you can comment on each other's stuff. Uh, I like that as well. So uh, interesting conversations. Um, New character. All right, instant tie tire, tire, instant tie tire. So you know a tie, mm. like you know a tie, mm -hmm. and it instantly ties your tie. Mm. Mm. Good one. I'll, I'll, okay. I think I'll just go with that one. I'll just go with that one. Instant, instant tie tire. Yeah. So. Okay, we just have like fresh pizza. Fresh pizza. All right. Yeah. It's it. still warm. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, so you get an instant tie tire. Mm. Okay. Okay, so another thing I just want to mention while we're doing this <laughs> amazing um, exercise is um, that we'll be having these live streams uh, also in another days of this week. And in the end, we'll also summarize it, uh, sum it up again. And Wednesday is the next one, the first next one. Um, we'll be doing something with watercolors. Do we already have a topic to disclose? Yes, we have. Um, the topic is going to be uh, drawing landscapes with watercolors. So it's going to be entry level, um, but also interesting for uh, those of you who already have some skills with drawing landscapes or painting with watercolors. Um, Watercolors are an amazing thing right now. It's very relaxing. We have time. We can wait for them to dry even without, you know, a paper towel if you're impatient. And so definitely I think this is going to be a great exercise that Sonia will do with you. And then on Friday we have a special one where we want to give you feedback on your work. Like any kind of your artistic expression basically or creative work. Um, obviously our field is, you know, painting and drawing, um, but you just send us your stuff and we'll comment and give you feedback and you know we'll gather all the stuff that we get and Friday we'll showcase it and do you know a live feedback uh, round with that. So do that. Um, I hope you can you know gather the courage to send us uh, your stuff. You can send it on Facebook or on Instagram or email. Okay. So, you got your super tight <laughs> What I like about this one, that this tie defies the rules of gravity. Yes, that, that's why he's so super. Yeah, that's why he's amazing. That's why he's what? Instant, instant tie master. Yeah, instant tie master. So, um, there are some more questions, but right now I need a new superpower for Sonia. So, uh, hit me with that one. What do we have? What do we have? Let us hear some suggestions so we can continue with this um, with this character. We got three more, three to go. Tell us what you are working on. And um, yeah, to answer a couple of questions. So Sonia, what is the pen that you are using? I'm using Vibo 05 from Pilot you can see. Yeah, once again, V-Ball from Pilot. It's a pure liquid ink pen and it's waterproof. So if you're drawing outside or using watercolors in those, when you're combining those two, they are great because they usually don't bleed as much as others do. So 
also when the sketch is dried and you're outside sketching doing urban sketching or something else um yeah they are just the perfect pens to to go outside to draw yeah and um super fly trainer <laughs> All right, we got a couple of good ones. Um, and just to let you know, people are really looking forward to um, doing the workshop with watercolors with you. Um, and there's also a question if it's possible to do it with watercolor pencils, if I understood that right. Uh, sure, if you're very good at using watercolor pencils, we have them as well, but I'm not using them for, for the next uh, live stream. But you can use them. Yeah. I think there is a way to also. You could also like just you know apply water with your brush and watercolor pencil and use it as a source of paint. Yeah, you could. Sure. Yeah, I um, think if you don't have watercolors. Yeah, we bought the the pens just to test them out, but we didn't find time yet. So um, I can't give you any instruction in this particular area. But if you share something with me, I would much appreciate it. Uh, maybe you can teach me something. All right. Yeah. So okay. I, some names. I've got yeah. I've got uh, from N Isles. I've got personal space protector from Antef. I've got instant Amazon delivery person, and from Isidor, I've got super fly trainer. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So um, which one you want to go with? I want to do the fly trainer. All right. It's the fly trainer, guys. Okay. <laughs> super. Super. Um, so yeah, Michael says he uses this pen based on our recommendation um, and it's nice because you can hold it at angle. Yeah, this is, um, I'm glad you're using it. I mean, um, it's some. It's a pen we discovered like, I don't know, 10 years ago and just, I think I've been drawing with this pen probably since 10 years now. It's my favorite pen, uh, Sonia's as well. Um, so Alexander uh, doesn't have watercolors but um, does have watercolor pencils that he uses um, in a way I explained and works fine. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, by applying uh, probably uh, the water with the brush on the pencil and then using it as a paint source and then you're painting. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm gonna test it out. Yeah. Okay, Thank so you. sorry, Sonia is drawing the Superfly first and let me switch to that. Yeah, I'm drawing the Superfly person. So I. I added the goggles because if she's trying to be a super super fly trainer, she needs to be part of the team, right? She needs to integrate because she's apparently human. So that's why I'm adding some goggles <laughs> and she has like this, you know, this gadget that you fill with gas and then you can just go up, you can fly jet basically. Pack. Yeah, she has a jetpack that you can see right now, but <laughs> she has it. She's wearing it right now. Um, Okay, let us get this a bit closer so you can see the super fly person from Sonia. A and super fly trainer. And she also added a few more legs that are apparently totally different, right? Oh, so these are fake legs? Fake legs. So sure. she fits in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she fits in, yeah. Day seven, the flies still haven't <laughs> have noticed I'm not one of them. <laughs> the goggles. How do you spell goggles? Go -o -o, go -go. I think goggles. Go -o -g -o -l -g -o -g -g -l -e -s with double with double g. <laughs> goggles. The goggles. I, I hope it's right. <laughs> okay, so um, my drawing companion asked to turn camera back to sketches. Blaschka says hi, by the way. Also, she says you're both cute. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, uh. And we've got some more um, some more co um, ideas for superheroes, so I think we'll be able to pick a next one. Oh man, this Superfly uh, trainer is amazing. Like it. Okay. All right. So next one, I have a couple of suggestions, and you can still give us some more. So we have personal space protector, Sonia, and we have an instant Amazon delivery person. And we've got a creative one, an instant instant idea generator. Okay. I I like the personal space. Personal space protector? Yeah, protector, yeah. Alright. 
If your personal space is invaded, the personal space protector will fly in and save your personal space. Yeah. Let me move that so you can see. All right. I'm gonna do some flames. Yeah, I like that one. So what is basically happening, let me get a bit um, into the backstory of the things happening when we're doing these exercises. They really force us to think in ways we haven't before. And they put us in situations that we usually wouldn't find ourselves in, you know, like inventing superheroes or, you know, drawing, even drawing characters out of smudges. So this is a great way to, you know, stimulate your creativity and it's something you can basically train. Yeah. And that's also something that you did before as a child, right? This kind of exercise is the perfect example. Just, you can really get yourself into this state that you usually achieved so easily when you were still young, when you were just talking with, with your f friends or... Uh, or playing, yeah, imagining. Yeah. yeah, you were just like bouncing around the, the ideas and everything was just in flow. So the amazing thing is when we teach, um, we notice that people actually are creative. They haven't lost this inner child. The only thing you need is an excuse to get silly and creative again. You know, something an environment or a task that you know lets you be silly and do this thing and uh, with this exercise we just uh, gave ourselves that and we did something silly and funny and you know I think we all had fun doing it so we are mm, close to the last character when Sonia will finish the personal space protector so give us the last idea what could the last character be I'm really curious, give us one you did or one you always wanted to do or um, something else. Um, I'm really interested in what you all came up with. Okay, so she created like a fire circle and she has like the protection belt um, with a rope, with a meter and with a spray, mm -hmm. with a can of spray, a spray can. A pepper spray? <laughs> yeah, it could also be a pepper spray. <laughs> Because, right, you need to measure your your personal space, you need to define it. And oh, this is like, ah, okay, so yeah. she measures it yeah. and says like, personal space? Yeah, personal space. Personal space protector is also a good one in times of social distancing. Yeah, okay, yeah, and maybe she should also have a shield, right? A shield, yeah, yeah. definitely have, have, needs a shield. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, so now I need the last one. Now you need the last one. So, I haven't gotten any uh, yet, so give us some more, you know, just... We know you're creative, we know come you're creative. on. Come on, just give a random thought, maybe an everyday problem you have, or a problem you had in the last week, like something small, uh, you know, in your place, uh, something the superhero could help you with. So, um, what was it? Was like... Uh, I know what I had in the last in the last days. I have I usually leave the water boiling and then it boils out and I would love to have someone to turn off the stove uh, when I put on water for tea. This would be a good one for example. Or what else do I have? Um, I also have the one that uh, I also break my pencils the nibs of the tips of my pencils. So if I had like, you know, pencil tip enforcer or something. Um, but we have also two we haven't used yet mm -hmm. is instant idea generator and instant Amazon delivery person. Let me see if we already had some other ones. Mm, okay. Salty fingers superpower. You can bite the fingers off and they grow. This is an interesting one. So one we can eat the the, the fingers from. Never hungry. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the dust eater is also among them. So um, which one do we want to do? Hmm. Dust eater. What salty was the, finger. What was the Amazon thingy? Super instant Amazon delivery person. Instant Amazon delivery person. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the instant 
uh, Amazon delivery person. All right, let's go with the instant Amazon delivery person. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> the last one is always a special one. Yeah. How far are you guys? Did you uh, draw the same characters with it? Or did you draw your own? And uh, are you already also um, with the last one or are you already maybe even done? And if you are, think about sharing, uh, sharing the work. It would be awesome to see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what are you thinking about? I would give her like some antenna, mm -hmm. you know, something that she First of all, she needs like those. She needs a set of hair set, right? She needs to have something. She's very agile. All right. Yeah. Yeah. She needs something like this. Then the second thing, she has like a smartwatch, and she can via I don't know some sort of three D triangulation hologram. Yeah, hologram. Locate the position and pinpoint where you are. Hmm, okay, what else? Instant Amazon delivery person. Um, Would be, maybe she could like fly around and just directly, you know, through your window? Yes, that's something awesome. And she has it also here integrated in her fit. She has shoes. Am I the last one? And she's wearing a, a clothes, a, like an outfit, you know, like a really tight one. And, you know, she brings your Amazon deliveries right away. Yeah. Um, a valuable help to have right now, I would say. Insta Amazon. All right. So. I will check if there is anyone who joined uh, the Facebook group and needs to be confirmed so you guys can start um, uh, posting stuff. All right. Okay. So. We're closing in to the end of our exercise. I hope you had fun um, and I hope you took something creative today. Uh, for me as, as well, it's always a learning process doing these creative exercises and it's also a great thing to do them with you so we can, you know, get feedback right away and ideas. So what was your number one thing you like learned or liked today? Um, I liked the the way how this process worked. Um, it's sometimes even easier to just pick someone else's ideas and integrate them. Um, but but it was really fun just thinking about possibilities, what's possible uh, to do to draw. Uh, that's why I think you can also switch the camera if you want. Um, yeah, it's just like so fun very very entertaining i would say um, and i noticed when i started doing one thing more ideas occurred so i i could take one person and do something else with that with that person um, or even i also in imagined a scenario where this person would be in some sort of different situation like brushing their teeth or how is it how does this person look in action and just um, I don't know talking with a client or watching TV or flying together with flies that would be amazing to see super fly trainer right <laughs> so um, yeah the chat has gone a bit silent I hope everything is fine with the uh, connection let us know if something's not working right now I didn't know that we we're so late uh, I thought that we we're gonna finish a bit earlier but I'm really glad you stuck with us till the end yeah so once again to repeat we are going to have the next live stream on wednesday 
it's going to be at the same time as today, 7 p.m. Central European time, or whatever that converts to your time zone. Yes. We're going to put it in the link below, or somewhere when the next post comes out, we're going to share that as well. We're going to put it on Facebook, we're going to put it on Instagram, so you can save your uh, our schedule for next time. So Wednesday is coming watercolors, Friday uh, is you know looking at your own works and commenting and then Saturday we're gonna have you know chilled and relaxed drawing and painting again. Yes! Awesome! So I hope you liked it, uh, the exercise that we did together, I hope you had fun doing it. And post it, share it around, we'd love to see what you came up with. Yeah. So, uh, keep on drawing. And see you next time. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.